Do, 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 do. Things still looking okay over there? Got it. Okay. Looks good here, but Janet didn't come back. Oh, there you are, Janet. I'm sorry. Yeah. I see you now. One of Glenda's um one of Glenda's pictures is not up, but one is. The That's one okay. Okay. You don't need to see me. Oh, I'm not seeing anything on the on the um on the screen. I'm only seeing you up in the corner. Up on well, the just hang on. I haven't spotlit myself. Oh, there yet. you go. Okay. Can I turn the computer around this way? Okay. I got one more step. Hang on. Got to get my phone cord out of the way. Okay. Let's fix this. Holy moly, Aunt Jemima people. It almost, I am so sorry. This is terrible of me to, I forgot. Okay. I'm sure Glenda, I'm sure glad Glenda makes mistakes too. <laughs> that okay. means she's normal. Yeah. It sounds like fun. Oh, uh, okay. Now I'm just going to go over to Facebook. Oops, wait, and make sure that it's working over there. And it is, and there's people. Now I got to make this smaller so I can see their comments. Ah, hello, Connie, and hello, Peggy, over there. And here we have some people. We have Janet and Nancy and Holly and Brenda and Dimity. Did I miss anybody? Whew, Valerie's over there. Okay, so sorry, I do apologize. I did forget. And Connie sent me a message and said, are you not stamping tonight? It's like, mm, yeah, I'm stamping, but apparently I'm not stamping where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> okay, I think I'm almost ready. All right, so first, this is the first card we're going to make. Um, this is by one of my friends down in the States. Her name is um, Debbie Flatham. And Debbie and I are in an accountability group together with two other ladies. And this is one of, we do swaps every once in a while. Hello, Anne from Canberra, Australia. Oh, we got two Ooh. Australians with us today. That's awesome. Must be the right time of the day, is it, Dimity? Uh, it's about 12.30 for me, and in Canberra, it's one o'clock. Afternoon or morning? Afternoon. Oh, good, good. <sighs> okay. Yes, I'm back, Valerie, and I apologize. All right, so I'm going to be doing the, exactly the same card as what Debbie sent me because I like it, and it uses the Countryside in designer paper, the two and three eighths inch circle punch, also known as a circle punch, <laughs> and the circle saying stamp set. Now these are bundled. These two things and says 130 there in her part of Australia Valerie says hello Dimity uh, hello okay. Valerie <laughs> yeah, one o'clock here so it's 130 in Canberra and Peggy says it's 11 27 in Michigan and that is p.m. Ooh, eek well, she had a nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would have been smart if I had been a half an hour ago. Oh well. We're not we're not going to dwell on it, right? No. I'm going to get my adhesives and we're going to start. So eight and a half by five and a half. And it is scored at one and a quarter and four and a quarter. So you're going to fold it over normally like four and a quarter. And then you're going to take at the one and a quarter inch mark and fold it back. Okie pokey. And that's 
the majority of the fold. Now we just get to fill it up with a whole bunch of pieces of designer paper. Everybody got their base done? Hi, Pat. No, I'm slack. But I won't take a second doing that. Okay, in the meantime, I will give you the sizes of the designer paper. You can also find them in the graphic that I posted yesterday and today and earlier this week. And after the video is over, I will put them in the description, but I, did, I didn't do it right away because, you know, I was rushed. So this is Countryside Inn. The first piece is two and three quarters. Oh, my camera is on the wrong end of my phone. And I keep going over here like I normally do. <laughs> two and three quarters inches wide and five and a quarter inch long. Then we have a piece that is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And another piece that is one by five and a quarter. There's sticky right there well, sorry what was that last one 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 by five and a quarter they're all the same length they're just different widths okay okay so we're going to attach this the biggest piece first and it's going to go on the front underneath that for that front flappy thing so it's going to go here My husband was laughing at me because <laughs> I jumped up and said, oh, my God, I got a class. And he's laughing his head off at me because, of course, I was snoozing. <laughs> OK, we're going to put the one and a quarter inch piece on, going to go on the inside on the right hand side. So is anybody over there in Facebook creating with me or are you just watching? Because I am you creating. Know, you guys are all creating? Yeah. Good. Because you know, it's going to be there afterwards too, because I don't take anything down and it will be on my YouTube channel as well. Connie, I'm glad you woke me up. I wasn't really sleeping. I was snoozing. There's, there's a difference. Not much of one, but there is one. Okay, and your last piece is going to go right there on top of that folded over section. Are you feeling any better, Connie? Connie's been got some super bug thing and she's been sick for a while. I hope she's doing better. Yeah, me too. Nothing's worse than feeling crappy. That's true. Valerie's watching because Dave's son is there visiting. Peggy is watching because it's too late at night to craft. Connie's watching while she's laying in bed. Okay. I'm glad I can be entertaining for everybody. Con oh, Yvonne is creating. Peggy is laying on her bed watching. Connie says, I can see now, but left heart is still blocked. Left heart is still blocked. Do you mean left ear? Lori McDonough is watching from her bubble bath. Just saying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, yes, her left ear is still blocked. Oh, my. You must have that kind of bug like I had last year, um, Connie. In August, I had it took like six weeks for my ears to get clear again. And hello, Judy from St. Thomas, Ontario. <laughs> Valerie says, lucky Lori. <laughs> 
Okay, how are we doing? Got that all on? Um, you're working on it? Yeah, working on it. Okay, you're working on it? Yeah, working on it. Okay, you're working on it? Oh. Yeah, working on it. Okay. Dimity, do you have do you have Facebook on too? Um, I don't I don't know what I've been on. No, I've got Zoom on. Um, I don't I don't know what I've been on. No, I've got Zoom on. Um, I hear a I can hear a really iPad that says iPhone that snuck in there. No, it's not mine. Who is that? It was mine. Sorry. Oh, it's Carmen. I Hello, Carmen. <laughs> and there's somebody else watching, and it just says iPhone. Who are oh, no. you? <laughs> it was me that had it on Facebook. I thought I'd clicked it off, but obviously oh, well. not. It just it caused my voice to be heard like over and over and over and you really didn't need to hear me that many times oh Lori says her daughter and three grandchildren moved in this weekend and she deserves their bubble bath i agree with you you deserve it okay so you have two pieces of white that are the same size one we're going to use on the front and the other one is so I can stamp and cut out with the punch. So I'm going to, I'm going to punch. And first. they're supposed to be the, the same size? Two and a half the, by two and a half or something. Okay. Two and whatever five you need, Whatever you need. Two at two and two five. Two and five eighths by two and five eighths. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Whatever you need for your sentiment, whatever size circle you're making. Okay. This piece of Knight of Navy that is two and a half by two and a half, we're going to layer on top of one of the piece of white that is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. I was making a fun fold card this afternoon for one of my Thursday night stamping things. And I decided to pull out playing in the rain because I haven't used it for a while. And then I thought, well, if I'm going to use playing in the rain, I might as well use the stamp set from the paper pumpkin kit and I can put a frog on it. So <laughs> there we go. There will be a frog. I'm impressed. <laughs> yes. Linda, well, I was, is there a piece of white on the inside? There is. Apparently, I didn't give you the size for it. Well, we've got a piece that's supposed to be five and a quarter by four, but... Yeah, it should have gone down first. But... If you cut it two and three quarters, you could just butt it up against. Because, you know, I forgot. There we go. We'll stick that in in a sec. I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp. And I said I was using memento, but I'm not. I'm using night and boho blue. And I have not used this circle sayings a lot yet, so. We're going to. That's going to go on there like that. Ooh, it's seashells. Valerie made a card with the Earthen Elegance bundle. Nice. Then my sentiment. Uh, 
up here like this. And then the one in the middle. I think maybe I should save that frog stamp from that paper pumpkin kit and um, use it as my signature stamp. What do you think? Uh, I have a frog for my signature stamp. <laughs> it's a stamp I got years and years and years ago. And I just keep using it. Oh my God. Well, we had a, a nice long video chat with the Northern grandchildren today and they wanted, they made me walk around my entire house and show them all my frogs. Oh my. <laughs> I had to prove to them that all the frogs they've ever given me are out on display and being used. <laughs> oh Lord. Including the one that Blake bought me. That is a, you know, in your kitchen sink, you got that little basket thing in the that sits in the drain yeah, yeah. He bought me two that are frogs <laughs> and yeah. i had to prove to him that they are in the sink yeah. well one is the other one i don't keep the i don't keep the the basket thing in the sink but it was right there by the sink yeah. so grandma earned brownie points this morning and it's amazing what they remember giving you oh yeah Valerie said she got her card done, showed it to her husband, Dave, and realized she had the base backwards. <laughs> That's for a left-handed friend, Val. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, how are we doing? You guys getting there? The biggest piece of DSP, where did you put that? On the front. On the front there. Oh, hang on, that's because I'm trying to work it out because I didn't, I was using, I picked up the wrong piece. Okay. Ah. So that goes, and then you close that. And that goes there. And that goes there. Oh, now I just need some. This is a really cool layout because it uses up a lot of designer paper. And it shows it off well because it's got different patterns. Yes. The one that um, Debbie used has the foxes. Dang, phone's upside down. Has the foxes in it. And then the trees. And I used the one with the birds and the trees. Valerie, I am not going to be using the, a frog stamp as my signature. It is not going to happen. <laughs> nope. Uh -huh. oh, all right. So you're going to center this. Now you have two options um, putting this on. You can center it on this piece and it would be right up against this edge of your card. Or you can do what Debbie did and center it in the, in the center of the card and then it will be offset on this part but you only want to put adhesive between there and there how so big is that turn... square pardon how big is that square this the white is yeah. two and five eighths by two and five eighths the navy is two and a half by two and a half now i'm going to turn mine upside down so I know where to put my adhesive. I don't want to glue my card shut. I kind of want to make sure it's straight. And then that's going to go down flat. Oops, moved over a bit. So there we go.
Do you ever have daylight savings over there? Yes. We're, we've been working really hard to encourage our government to stop. Yeah. They haven't yet. They were going to before COVID hit, and then they used some excuse about COVID and not being able to do it. So we'll see what happens. It happens in March and October, I believe, right? I believe so. Okay, so now for the ribbon, I have about three inches of ribbon and I've just kind of folded it over and burnished it a bit with my fingers. And I'm gonna get a glue dot. And I'm gonna put it in between and then fold it over again. And that glue dot will hold it the way I want it. Oops. And then a glue dot to go on the top. Get off my finger. Because I'm going to stick it to the back of my sentiment and then put dimension in there if I can find one, I'm running out. I have to go get more package. So it's gonna go there and somewhere around here. I'm gonna attach my ribbon like that. And then trim it. Oh, Peggy, Peggy has daylight savings time where she is too. It's annoying. Yep, I agree. We don't actually have it in the Northern Territory, but the East Coast of Australia has it. Oh, Lord. Well, and so we've got like four or five different time zones because Western Australia is different again. Yep. Part of our province does, most of our province does, but the Northeastern section on the other side of the Rocky Mountains does not. So half of the time it's on BC time, British Columbia time. And then when we change, they don't. So they go on to Alberta time because Alberta changes. It's very confusing. And Saskatchewan- in the States too. Saskatchewan does not change. There we are. But Saskatchewan's Canada. Yes. Are you Canada? That's, that's where I am. I'm in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Just getting American Canada mixed up a bit. Oh. Not really. <laughs> he, always, he always asks me, where are you? I say <laughs> Canada. You're visiting Canada for the day. Yeah. One day we'll come and visit you for real. Awesome. <laughs> we'll have a party. We'll have a stamping party. Oh, that'd be nice. Gee, wouldn't I love that? I'd be in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking of having a, a big thing in September or early October. I used to do a breast cancer fundraiser every year and we haven't done it for a while. So I'm thinking of doing something the same, but not for breast cancer fundraiser, Oops. looking for something else. Okay. Okay, so that's the card. Now she didn't use any 
bling on there, but I need to put bling on there. What can I put on there? Well, let's see. We have blueberry bushel and misty moonlight. Hmm. None of those hit me. It might sound boring, but I really like this. I still like the rhinestone basic jewels. Do you? I do. Yeah, I use that a lot. Okay. The other day, I was using the, um, oh dear, I don't know where they are. They were the, the um, glimmer ones with the brown and the copper and whatnot in them and the silver. Oh, oh gee, yeah. They're, they're really nice. Is that the. Uh... Hang on. Adhesive back sparkle gems. Is that what you're talking about? The new ones? Or are they old? They're new. Yeah. They're sparkle. There's a gold, a black, and a and a silver, I guess, or white or silver. Yeah. I like those. That's the they're adhesive really back nice. sparkle gems. Yeah. They're not but going I'll, to go. No, I'm going to go with rhinestones. Just normal, everyday rhinestones because I haven't used them in a while. They're and a I great rollback. I think they're feeling left out. <laughs> there we go. Now, I have to put something on the, on the envelope. Besides this smudge, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Okay, what have we got in here? A cupcake. No, thank you. Okay. Oh. We will just put some of these on there. Peggy, I wish they would stop too. Daylight savings makes it really hard on a lot of people and animals. Yep. And children, little children. Yes. And old people. And yes. parents of little children. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get little children to sleep. Oh boy, when I was in the ACT and I had little children and of course, but it's not, it's still light. Yep. Yeah, but it's Still, you know, getting late. <laughs> when we were in Norway, it didn't get dark at night until quarter to 11. And then it was light again by quarter to four. In the it was morning? Quite something. Yes. Wow. That's a beautiful card. Thank you. And thank you to. Debbie for doing it. I lost Facebook. Hang on. I don't know why Facebook closed. I'm coming. <laughs> Some days I wonder, I think my computer is possessed. I know mine is. Good Lord. Okay, we're back. I got it under control. Yeah, I was still there. It's just my, my computer screen wasn't there, Peggy. Thankfully, it doesn't stop the stamping from happening. Okay. I'm going to clean my stamp and get ready for the next one. I had quite the mess when in my craft room when Connie woke me up and said, where are you? So I just put it all in a big pile, stuck it on the floor behind me. And I'm hoping I don't have to get anything from that pile because I may never find it again. 
<laughs> I know what you mean. I didn't stamp because I actually went through all my stamps last night or a lot of them and wrote mm -hmm. them down and, and putting the retired ones out, which I should have done a long time ago. But I'm pairing them up because I, could, I used a stamp yesterday, but I couldn't find the, the die cut to get fit it. So I had to look for that. Uh oh. Uh, which I found eventually. <laughs> it, so in Nicaragua, Judy says in Nicaragua it gets dark at 5 30 p.m. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's like being in the Caribbean. Well, because it would be. Right. Right, yeah. Holly. Yes. I remember it was always dark when we went for dinner down there. Yes. In the winter, it gets dark where Peggy is by 530 as well. Right now it gets dark about 1015. Yeah, we're usually dark by dinner time too in the winter. We normally get dark about 637 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Depending on the time of year. So yesterday, I think it was, it was dark, you know, fairly dark at about four and I sort of four or four thirty and it really confused me, but there was must have been a lot of low cloud yesterday. Ah. Uh. Well, our latitude's only 12 degrees south. Well, that's not very big, very much, very high. No, no it's not. And that's why we have very little movement in our length of days. Like mm. maybe uh, three quarters now, and shortest to longer. Okay, card number two. This is by Andra something or other. She doesn't have her name on, her last name on there. Now, I don't have a sentiment <sighs> because this is from that that stamp set that has the balloons, what's it called? Yeah, Something or other. I don't Pretty have balloons. it. Yeah, the first one that's in the catalog. Yeah, I've got that one. Well, that's what she used. I think I'll just use this one from the Cheerful Daisies. I'll just use that one. It's the same size. Sounds good to me. And Did then you enjoy creative time yesterday. Yeah, it was why it was quite good. I did. I took a lot of pictures, a lot of screenshots. <laughs> Filled up my computer. Okay, so I've changed my colors a bit. This uses as your afternoon. As your afternoon going. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. Um, basic white and then bright and beautiful designer paper and her squares in behind are lemon lime twist. So I'm using lemon lolly. Have a good night, try to. And basic white and lemon lolly. And then basic white. And four pieces of lemon lime twist. And four hunks of paper on top of the lemon lime twist. And I'll give you the measurements for all of this in a second. And then something for a sentiment. Okay, so two pieces of basic white that are five and a quarter by four, one for the inside and one for the front. Now she didn't do an inside, so I can't show you the inside. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and folded over. Then you put the five and a quarter by four inch piece of white. Oh, wait a minute, hold, hold the phone. It's five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So if you've already cut yours, just make your lemon lolly or whatever you're using a little bit smaller because this is five and a quarter by four. 
So if you cut your basic white at five and a quarter by four, you're going to want to cut your colored cardstock at five and an eighth by three and seven eighths, just so you can layer it. It says five and three eighths. Yes, but I said five and a quarter by four. So if you've already cut this, if you didn't pre-cut and you're cutting along with what I'm telling you, then, and you cut it to five and a quarter by four, then just cut this piece to five and one eighth by three and seven eighths so you can layer it. If you prepped, then you, this will be five and three eighths by four and one eighth, and this will be five and a quarter by four. Is that confusing? Because I am. Just cut two, a white piece and a colored piece that layer together. There we go. Now this one is three and a half by three and a half. And that's just basic white. Four pieces of lemon lime twist that are one and a half by one and a half. And they're going to layer on there eventually when we get there. What did I say? One, one and a half by one and a half. Yep. And four pieces of designer paper that are one and three eighths by one and three eighths. Is a six percent increase over last month. Price for two hundred meter has stayed steady, fifty dollars. But despite these increases, your giant is somebody cool. listening to the radio or something? They could turn not that me. Off. Saskatchewan. Somebody in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the word Saskatchewan. <laughs> okay, now she also put ribbon on there but I didn't get it out. So I, there's five and a half inches and then a bow. I'm going to get some ribbon. Cause I don't have, I don't have this ribbon. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the um, lemon lolly. What is it? Lemon Lolly Sheer Ribbon. And instead of a bow, I'm going to show you how to do a knot. Can I just move it for a second, please, honey? Yeah. I'll be back here a second. I'm going to get my pipe. Uh-oh. Oh, well, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so we need five inches of ribbon ish to wrap around. And then about if you're going to do a bow, make a bow. Or I'm going to use about three inches. Maybe if I can get it, my scissors in there, stop curling on me. About three inches and I'm going to just tie a knot on it. Okay. And an embossing folder of some sort. She used the, what's that called? Painter's palette. Mm, no. The embossing folder is called Painted Textures. Painted, um, painted Textures. Oh, textures, okay. But I'm going to use twisted rope. Because this is becoming one of my new favorite embossing folders. And I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. Uh, next to my bedroom door, there's a little box. Got some folders. Can you grab me a folder? That's one of those plastic things, okay? It goes Thank you. 
out. Thank you. Go and get me a folder. Next to my bedroom door, there's a box just before you go in on the right hand side. No, no, come back. Connie, twisted rope is fun to use. It's pretty. Or what it looks like. Okay. Um, I'm going to attach. Oh my, I can have a look for another one that opens up. I'm going to attach the embossed one to my basic white piece for the front. No, no. It's got a pattern on it. It'll have a pattern on it. Dimity, I have um, muted you. You can unmute yourself when you get yourself organized there. Okay. There we go. Now it goes right onto your card base. No, it doesn't. Don't put it on your card base yet. You need to put the ribbon around it. So take your white piece and kind of do a dry run so you can see where you want your ribbon. Because I haven't put that on yet. Well, that's just going to wrap around like that. Stuck to my fingers. Now, oh, this might. Just going to take a piece of tape, go over the top of that, and hold it in place. And now I'm going to put it onto my card base. Okay, so let me know when you get that far and we'll carry on. Afraid I'm a little behind. I remembered it was time for my eye drops. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to take this time to go and get my water. I will be right back. Oh, that wasn't a good sound. All right. How are we doing? Getting there? And this little short piece, I'm going to tie around the piece I've put on my card front. And when you get it to this point, make sure it's where you want it. And then pull the tails in the direction that you want them to lay in and they'll go down nice and flat for you. Give it a good tug, make it nice and snug. 
And then I'm just going to trim my tails. And there, you don't have to tie a knot. There are good extra points for you running the embossing folder that was directional in the wrong direction. Absolutely. Oh, good. <laughs> Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Painted posies would have looked very funny sideways. Yes. The the card. Yes, it would. Well, you could change the orientation of the card very easily, though. Well, I suppose I could have. Didn't or you could that. just say it's a Tofino card and that's the way the flowers grow because it's so windy <laughs> out there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put adhesive on this piece of white that is three and a half by three and a half, and that goes flat onto the card. So you want your top frame to be about the same as the two sides. Sure, we'll say that's what it happened. <laughs> Don't look, it's not. <laughs> it's not centered. Close enough for, close enough. That's right. As they used to say in class, I'll give that one to my blind aunt. She'll never know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, you must have your air conditioner on. Do you? I can see your curtain flapping. <laughs> Either that or it's really windy. You're muted. I can't hear you. Sorry, I have uh, fans on in every room and it's, oh. I just have that curtain closed <laughs> uh, because I got a mess behind it. Ah, <laughs> it's where yes. my closet is. <laughs> mm. So I just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, you closed I was, the door. Yeah, my door is a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now attach your four pieces of designer paper to the four pieces of cardstock. This paper, I find this um, bright and beautiful designer paper difficult for me to use because it's not my style. You know, it's not my style either, but I have used a lot of it. Have you? Which surprises me. I, I've done some fancy fold stuff, the pinwheel card and a faux shutter. Ah. And for some reason, it seems to lend itself for fun things like that. Well, I do have it out to use it for the fun fold that I was creating today with the playing in the rain stamps. So we'll see how that works out if I ever get it done. There we go. Okay, Lena, the cardstock is one and a half by one and a half. And the designer paper is one and three eighths by one and three eighths. Now comes the tricky part. If you're OCD, getting these things lined up so that they're kind of spaced equally. 
So I'm just going to use a little bit of temporary tape because otherwise they're going to move and I'm not going to be able to get them to stay where they're supposed to be. There we are. So you're going to do that with them and make them kind of the same all the way around if you can. Is that a kitty cat? That is my kitty cat, Olivia. She is here to help. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. Oh, let me spotlight you. So there's ah, Olivia. She's quality lovely. control. <laughs> She's beautiful. Thank you. She is a 17-year-old ragdoll cat. She got I very adopted her a couple face. months ago. And she's a big help. <laughs> and a big talker. Yes, she is. But it's really hard to do any crafting with her right in the middle of the craft space. <laughs> but she doesn't think you need to craft when you could give her attention. This is so true. Lena says gorgeous cat and Valerie says she always wanted a rag doll cat. Ah, oh, they're really, I have two of them. They're sisters and their pet parents went into a nursing home and they had to give them up. So now I have two 17 year old cats. Wow. Is now, that who would think that a cat that 17 year olds could be naughty? <laughs> well you but did she, say cat I did say cat yes <laughs> she grabbed my glue dots off my desk carried them into the bedroom chewed them up and got glue dots all over my floor oh my lord naughty I tell you she's <laughs> naughty <laughs> oh trying to find some dots. I want to put some dots on the inside. Because I don't have any stars, so I'm going to use dots. And I'm going to use lemon lolly and lemon lime twist. Ollie, and then what color should I do the sentiment? Where'd my card go? What color should I do this? Boho blue, I think. Boho blue for the sentiment. All right. So did you guys do anything exciting this weekend? No, I did not. <laughs> Me neither. No, I did creativity now yesterday. Yes, we did. That and was, that was, that was cool. I enjoyed that. Much better than last year. Yes. More relaxed. And better projects. True. Now, if anybody is wondering what that is, creativity now was a uh, an event put on by stamping up on yesterday morning, Saturday morning, that was just for demonstrators. And we did stamping and we got to see all sorts of different presentations and new products. It was fun. 
Oh, should have done my envelope at the same time. Don't forget we have to do show and tell. So those of you that are making cards, I will be asking you to show them at the end so we can all see what you came up with. Lena made a couple of cards and went to the farmer's market. Oh, I baked yesterday. Oh, what'd my, you make? My poor body. I haven't baked in years, but grandson wanted to make sugar-free cinnamon buns. But you didn't share. Yes, I did. Not with me. <laughs> I could tell you if they worked or not. <laughs> they were really good. I was impressed. They were. So I took Pillsbury um, croissants because I was not going to make the bread dough because he wanted them right away. And it would have taken three hours if we had have made bread. Mm -hmm. And this was two o'clock in the afternoon. So that wasn't happening. So I took the the Pillsbury croissants and we laid them out, put melted butter on them. And then Splenda has a mixture of Splenda and brown sugar. And that's what we used. And oh my goodness, they were so good. Then we made sugar-free cream cheese icing for the top. That sounds nummy. They are. They were. Next time, we are going to cut the croissants in half because they were a bit too big. They didn't cook. They didn't cook 100% on the inside. They weren't gooey, but they weren't fully cooked. So next time, we're going to cut them in half and make them a little bit smaller. But I think I started a thing. Now I'm going to have to keep going with it. Like Cameron was looking for something to do. And he was not impressed with my suggestions. Scrub the bathroom. Wash the kitchen floor. Do the laundry. I said, but those are things I used to suggest to your daddy when he told me he was bored and needed something to do. I can't understand why you didn't like any of those. <laughs> we did go for a bike ride. I told him if we were going to bake, he had to go for a bike ride first. Lena, do you sell your cards at the farmer's market? Lena over there in Facebook world. We have so many markets in this town. I think there's probably one almost every night of the week. Wow. There is one Friday night. There's two Saturday, there's one Sunday, there's one Monday night. Then there's ones that go in between as well. Bizarre. Like, why can't they all go to do the same thing at the same time? That's really nice to have so many. We just lost one of our midweek ones. It wasn't being attended enough. Uh, well, it's all the same stuff, too. This is true. The big Saturday one is still going. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, we had a big one. And then two factions fought. And now we have two. One at one end of town and one at the other end of town. Uh oh. I just ran out of a PC. This is not a bad birthday card. I'm impressed. It's a cute card. And it's oh, a lovely okay, way to use yeah, up. Okay, we have the pink. It's a lovely way to use up little small bits of designer paper. I had to get some more stamp and seal. Lena says she doesn't sell her cards at the farmer's market. But today she picked up painting again, trying on stones freehand. Oh, that's interesting. One of the farmer's markets has somebody there that sells stone painting kits for kids. Six dollars for three rocks and a couple of little things of paint. Oh, oh there's a... Dimity did creative creativity now on Saturday too. Yay. That was fun. I was uh, prepping card kits while I watched it. How are we doing? Just about done? Uh, I'm done. I think it was Jim. Was it Jim? I, the Japanese fellow I really liked. He did the horses. Uh, the uh, rabbit. Oh, um, that's Mitosu. Oh, okay. Jim Soriano. From he's from the UK. Yeah, yeah, he is an amazing color. Jay Soriano, sorry, not Jim Soriano. Jay Soriano. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's amazing. Yay, there's two cards. Two cute cards. Thank you. I think so too. They're yes, they're both very lovely. And they're both something that I think I'll I will be making that same layout again. These are good cards for my Sunshine Club stamp craft leaves. Can do a, <gasps> you know what paper would be cool in here? That ugly one. Hang on. <laughs> the ugly one? <laughs> the ugly one. Sorry. I just realized that it's on the third card. This paper. What is it called? Oh, masterfully Hello? made. Oh, masterfully yeah, made. Yes. <coughs> Yes. Oh, thanks for watching, Yvonne. Good night. We'll see you hopefully tomorrow. I'll be back eight o'clock. Yeah, that paper would be really cool in here. Yeah, I think you could do a lot of different papers with that one. Yep. And the first one as well. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put my stamp pads back. Carry on. See what I come up with for the next one. Because I don't have this paper. You don't? I have the stamp set at Circle Sayings. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I, and I haven't used the cupcake part yet. And I'm going to put in there warm hello. 
instead of thank you. Actually, I don't think I've used the stamp to it. I've used the punch a few times. Mm -hmm. I like the sentiments in this stamp set. Yes. They got some, and the, the fonts are really nice. Oh, Connie's got to work tomorrow. Good night. Oh, good night, Connie. Oh, Pat's leaving us. Lena's leaving us. Holy man, everybody's leaving. Was it because I said I wouldn't wanted to see your cards? <laughs> <laughs> I scared them off. It's all right. You can catch the replay for the rest of it. Oh, excuse me. Bedtime? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Oh. Time is it there? Go ahead. What time is it there? In Canada? 9 30. 9 30. <laughs> oh, I, I'm doing mine in pink. Just didn't have time for an afternoon or uh, a nap after supper. <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, I got home late from I was out for supper with friends. Uh, and we were oh, sitting Lena's, around. Lena's still here. She's not leaving. Yay. Oh, but Judy is. Bye. Good night, Judy. Here's some more of that that paper. What's that paper it's called? Pretty, isn't it? That's that's in the um bright and beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Bright and beautiful. The one I said I don't use a lot. Didn't think I was going to use a lot. Guess what? Okay, so I need I need bubble bath. And then I'm going to need bubble bath and number 200. And I think I'll give it fresh freesia icing. And how big was the piece of the DSP? Hang on. The designer paper is two by five and a quarter. But I always make mine a little bit longer so I can cut it off. Number two. And fresh freezing. Yeah. I'm using a different pattern from that masterfully made. So I think I'm gonna make mine three. Uh-huh. That's the beauty of this because you can make it whatever size you want. Okay, so I gotta cut a new piece. Okay. Rand I'm going to randomly stamp. You know, me and OCD and randomly don't get along well together, but we're going to pretend. The cupcake in bubble bath on the bubble bath. Maybe if I go with what? Who made this card? Let's see. Oh, Stephanie Pletcher. This is one of Stephanie's cards. So let's see what she did. Did a little one in there, and then she did one here, and turned it upside down for there. Coming in the corner. That one's that way. I'm gonna put this one this way. Okay. No, it's. Uh oh. Puppy time. No bark. No, no bark. <laughs> you want to bet, Grandma? Is that the beagle? Yes.
It's a case of damn good thing she's cute. <laughs> All right, then your designer paper goes in the middle-ish. So there's not going to be a free class in July or August. And then I will come back. Hopefully we'll get something to, I'll get something together for September. But it'll be Christmas cards by then. And we'll see. Because you know, August, we get to, demonstrators get to see the Christmas catalog and order from it. Well, actually we get to see it on the 26th of July. And we get to order from it in August. And then it goes live to our customers in September. That's kind of pretty paper, that one. It is so pretty. And then when you get that done, that goes onto your card base and my card base is white. I guess I should have told you that this piece of bubble bath is five and a quarter by four. I didn't do that, did I? Bad me. Card base is eight and a half by five and a half. Scored in the middle. There we go. So you can let me know when you get to that point. Now, what dies are these? I didn't write them. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's not them. No question. You can ask me a question. Is Karen and Elise going to be here sometime this week? Um, I don't think so. I think they're oh. going to be with Dad. But we're going to see them tomorrow. Well, then, I want to play with them because I'm bored. You're bored? Yeah. Bored. Oh. You can sweep the floor or put the washing on for me. <laughs> Way to go, Dimity. <laughs> I was thinking about what you said earlier and I thought, yeah, why not? Yep. Scrub the bathrooms. Oh, yes. The bathroom needs doing. The bathtub. And then when Grandma can go for a bath, I can get in there. <laughs> Pigs might fly. Uh-huh. Today's Phil's first day back at work for two weeks. He had two weeks off to look after me. Uh-huh. While I went to, you know, when I came out of hospital. Yeah. Well, I came home and I cleaned the toilets. <laughs> That's the first thing I did. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to take it easy. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to color my cupcake with the um, bubble bath lens for the cake liner, cupcake liner thing. Is anybody else using circle sayings? No. Um, no. I used the punch. I haven't done any stamping because I haven't got any of the stamps here. Uh. <laughs> oh. 
and I went to the box and found some paper, but it didn't have the birthday one in it. Pretty and bright. Aha. Uh -huh. And the, I did have pink ribbon on the table, but I must have put it away. And so I've oh. only got um, the lemon lime here, but that's all right. That goes nice. Yeah. All right. And then the chocolate cup and cake. And I think she used number 200, but whatever you got. Oh, I missed a part of the cupcake liner. Yummy. All right, I'm going to add some fresh freesia, staying with the color theme of, of the paper. Well, it's a long weekend here next week for Canada Day. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to be live on Monday the 3rd or not. We haven't decided what we're doing yet. We might be doing nothing. Staying home and enjoying peace and quiet. Oh, that'd be nice. We've got, um, on July 1st, we've got uh, fireworks day. And um, oh, here, you're allowed to buy fireworks in the Northern Territory. Yeah. And you're only supposed to let them off between certain hours of that day, but you know, it goes all year long. <laughs> yeah, it does here too. I hate it. Yeah, I hate it too. I tell you, the dog's uh, Sparky goes mad. He's he panics something chronic. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good for the animals. Nope. I think there was gunshots on the TV last night, and he started barking. Oh dear. Poor puppies. Yeah. It is hard on them. It is. It's not just pets. It's all animals. It's hard on. Yep. I often think, oh, what are we going to come out to? Are we going to come out to dead chooks in the morning or what, you know, when they let the fireworks off? Yeah. Dead chooks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love my chookies. We have a restaurant here in town, Dibbany. It's called Boomerangs. And they're Australian and they have Australian food. And they have yeah. chook sandwiches. Oh, yum. Well, as much as I like chalk, I tell you, I have to go to the shop and buy it because I can't, I can't do anything with my chalks. <laughs> 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 well, it seems silly because you, you pay good money and you end up with all these roosters. I've got one rooster now. And you think, oh, gee, I'd like to put you in the pot. <laughs> <Sometimes>. <laughs> I can't do it because, you know, 
they're often very friendly because we we you know we we spend time with them. <laughs> Made them into pets. <sighs> Well, they deserve a little bit of love, too. Yeah, this is funny. true. Every time I go out the back door, they run up to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what treat have you got for us today? <coughs> so I just stamped my sentiment in memento, and then I die cut it with one of the Countryside Corners dies. And it goes flat. And then my cuppy cake is going to be popped up. And then I'm going to put a bow on the edge. And then, you know what? I didn't put any rhinestones in the last card. So I'm going to have to pull it in and put rhinestones on it. Apparently, I'm I'm sticking true to my to my roots for getting to put the bling on my cards. I haven't seen any winky on anything today. No, and no winky. Oh my gosh. I know something's wrong here. The whole day apparently has been off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I put the uh, hammocks up on the back patio and the grandchildren were having fun in the hammocks, but I couldn't find one of them. They went home and I found it. <laughs> Isn't that all the was the way though? Yep. Then our son and daughter-in-law came over to pick the grandson up that was here and son sat in it but not in the good one he's I've got a a real cheap one and two real good ones and he was sitting in a cheap one and he said are you going to try it I said there is no way I'm putting my butt in that <laughs> hammock and have the the little tushy fat rolls hanging out of the bottom. Uh-oh. Am I going to be able to get this up? Because it's not in the right spot. It's a box of little toys here somewhere. But I did go out and sit in the good one after dinner. It was really lovely. I like, I like hammocks. They're fun. I spent many, many, many happy hours hang sitting in the hammock, the, the one we got hanging up now, um, on our boat. I used to put it up so between the, the mast and the forestay. I didn't be out there for hours reading my book and listening to the, the birds. When you use period pads for water leaks, <laughs> You're good. Yeah. So much. Boys, all the time, you do 10 air and period. To feel clean, dry, and fresh, it takes boys. Somebody has a radio or something going again. There we go. Oh, that ribbon is so pretty. That's the one yeah. that comes with the three ribbons. Yes. Lena said Stuart put up a macrame chair swing by her arbor and she loves it. Oh, that's awesome. They're fun, you know, those hanging things. The first time you sit on it, though, it's um, a little scary. Wondering if it's going to hold <laughs> or if you're going to end up on your butt on the floor. Oh, thank you, Lena. Lena says she likes the cards. 
Okay. They're very cute. I agree. Hmm. I'm going to color some the inside one, same as the outside one. Whoops, outside the lines, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Stop. Can <laughs> you tell pretty bad, Johnny? Please. So what do you guys think about this new piece or this new um, bubble bath color? I like it. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. I'm glad you didn't ask about the, the wheat one. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't. We all know Holly's thoughts on that one. <laughs> yes, we do. And I'm really glad I didn't see any of that tonight. <laughs> no, there hasn't been any, not even on the sample cards. See, apparently those ladies didn't like the color either. <laughs> and what do you think about this designer paper, masterfully made. I like some of it. Some of it's very pretty. That piece, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's right up yeah. there with the wild wheat. Oh yeah. I'm not, yeah. yeah. I'm Maybe not sure about it. Further up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't order it and I'm not going to order it. Because well, I did end up ordering it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to have to make something, aren't I? Well, you have three, well, at least two suggestions tonight of using small pieces of it, anyways. I saw right. someone use one piece and it looked really quite nice. Uh -huh. Just on the, the card, but I can't remember what piece it was or anything like that, but it looked all right. And then if all else fails, turn the really ugly stuff into envelopes. There you go. Good idea. Look, yeah. the winkies out. No. Excuse me. No. Lena no. likes it. Oh, she said, trust me, her chair has a huge thick rope. So good, she won't fall. And then she says she likes masterfully made, but has a hard time to create with it. Yeah, it does, it does not appeal to me in the least. The concept artist was amazing, though. The yes. chair paper to make all of that. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive. I think it's the colors. Those, those, they're too bright for me. I'm more of a subtle person than a bright person. Well, I like bright colors. Not that. Not that. No. Adding Winky. The back side of it looks better. Does it? Yeah. I thought I might order some of it just to say I had it, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> Not going to happen. I think that was a good idea. I, I, I had a quarter pack and I did order a, a full pack and I 
I'm thinking, no, I shouldn't have done that. But there's a green <laughs> one in there that's nice, and a, well, yep. a green with flowers on it. That's that's quite that's very pretty. Uh -huh. So that's two sheets that are good. Mind you, it's the same. It's the it's the reverse side that I like. You know. So uh, yeah. Two yeah. out of them. Out of most of the, and I think all of them, I would use the reverse side. I think so too. Uh -oh. There, Winky's on all of them. Yay. Excellent. Yay. Hey, sparkly. Now I'm going to put rhinestones. I don't think I've used wines, rhinestones in a long time. Oh, man. How do you, you sort your card? Pardon me? How do you sort your card? Do you put all your cards in like greens and blues and pinks? Card do stock? You, Are you talking the card stock, the yes. paper? Um, mine's, yeah. mine's alphabetical. Hmm. Mine's alphabetical by color family. Oh, is it? Hmm. Interesting. I used to have mine in the in the families, but it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, not not for me. I I do the uh, name alphabetically. Yeah. So I think I'll put them in color colors. Do a rainbow? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I store my blends. Okay. In a rainbow. Very pretty, Glenda. They didn't turn out too bad, did they? I didn't have made any of these cards before I made them with you. <laughs> Oops. Uh -huh. I like this one. This my fave. I like the colors. Mm -hmm. They're pretty colors, aren't they? Mm-hmm. This ribbon is really nice. So the part, the color I didn't use because it comes, it comes in lemon lolly and bubble bath. And Azure Afternoon, I think. Mm -hmm. I could have used that one on here because it's got the color in it. But I haven't even, I hadn't even opened the package of this yet. I've used up all of my bubble bath and all of my Azure Afternoon. So I got another, another package of it. Wow. wow. I haven't opened mine up. And I just opened up the, is it lemon lime twist and the um, pale uh, pale pink? I think it is. Oh, the other one. Yeah, the two packet. Yeah. That was handy. So I, I that was just here. So I. Well, that's good. At least you've used it. So I got that out and used it. I'm not quite sure where that other one is. Hmm. The mystery. It was on the table. I guess it's hiding under something. <laughs> now I wonder if my video is working yet. Oh, it is. Yay. Because yeah. I'm going to turn my, take my phone down so we can do show and tell. I'm just going to put my ribbon away. I always store my ribbon with the plastic liner on it because then it doesn't get dirty and it doesn't unravel. I fight the plastic liner. So I take a piece of ribbon and I tie it around my, mm. around my Arola ribbon. 
Good idea. So it kind of keeps it corralled. Corralled, what a good word. <laughs> okay, so are you guys ready to share your cards? Don't oh, all yeah. speak what, at once. What's, what's done of mine, yeah? Yep, I finished them because I haven't got the stamps out. Things. That's okay. We'll see your cards anyways. Okay, just let me move my stuff so I can uncover my computer. Because there is quite a mess happening around here. Oh, share it Saturday. Is the draw is ready for tomorrow? Don't let me forget to do it tomorrow. Okay. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to take the spotlight off my hands. My computer or my phone down and leave. All right, it's done. Yes, Lena, you're on the list for share it. Let me check. Yeah, you're on there for share it Saturday. So I'm doing the oops. I just dropped my card on the floor. Um, this will be the June the 17th one that I'm drawing tomorrow night. And if you're part of my VIP group and you live in Canada, I'm doing the draw for the 50% off item too. Give me stuff away tomorrow. Okay, who's ready to share their cards? Holly? Good morning. <laughs> Oh, pretty. Oh, I love that paper. Nice. nice. Ooh, well, oh, I pretty. used my favorite stamp set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forever fern. Oh, oh, yes, lovely. I might have. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Janet? I did this one. We won't oh, say nice. how old oh, cute. Ducks or the words are. That's okay. That's you very lovely. One. There's number two. Nice. Nice. And this one is from a, well, it's current paper, but it's not current stamps. It's something called birthday delivery, if that dates it. Oh my gosh, that was a while ago. Didn't that have like a baker and stuff in it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> but it works. It yeah. works. Cool. Nice. And that paper looks good on there. Yeah. It does. Okay. <coughs> Nancy? So here's the first one. Lovely. Pretty. Oh. Very nice. Oh. And the second one got carried away with Oh, me. I like that Ooh, one. I like that. Oh, really like the, the I love pinky. That. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then I cheated. I didn't stamp. I just used the SD on envelopes <laughs> and inside. And here's okay. the big one. Oh, oh, cute. Ah. oh, nice. This is the paper I like the best out of that set. <laughs> I like that one. Mm. That's the ripped one, right? Yep. Ooh. Mmm, it's lovely. Nice. Olivia agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Olivia, way to go. <laughs> Dimity, are you going to share your cards with us? Oh, okay. Mine are very similar to yours because... Anyway, I have to build a, build a background in the first one. You have to turn your camera on. Don't even consider it. Start video. Is that what? Yeah, right, like, that's the one. Uh, yeah. Now, why won't it? Hang on. I have to spotlight you. There you are. Okay. Uh -huh. I haven't glued that on because I haven't stamped it. I didn't yeah. have any. I had a quarter packet share of this stuff, so that was handy. Nice. So, nice. So that yeah. one got done. Well, more or less done. The second one 
I knew exactly where the lemon lolly and the baby pink uh, bubble bath was. So that's there. <laughs> Cute place. And the, and the lemon lime ribbon because it was here. Yep. And this is how most of my cards turn out is what is here. What I'm going <laughs> Oh, cute. Uh -huh. and that's the oh, body. I like that paper. Mm -hmm. That's out what of the paper? eccentric paper or something, the 48 pack. Oh, okay. Uh, There's yeah, not many in there either. I like. I made a birthday card for someone out of the black and white because they like black and white. Yeah. And they like fishing. So I cut the blooms out of the fishing, the fish paper. Yep. So the balloons had fish paper on it, and then they had black and white on the sides. And oh, nice! It, it looks right. I mean, you know, like for, normally for a female, you'd think no, but she, not, you know, it would have been her. It's her style. So yeah, I, I was pleased with that. Nice. And our mystery person, who that only says iPhone. Did you stamp along with us? Oh, she's not saying our incognito mystery stamper. I can actually see a bit of like it's really dark, but there's a people there. <laughs> there's a people there. Yep. yep. Well, thank you for joining us, whoever you are. It was lovely. And thank you so much for stamping with me tonight, ladies. I'm sorry that I started so late. Well, thank you for joining us, Glenda. <laughs> we enjoyed it. <laughs> well, I was very naughty. I didn't have my card stock ready. I actually had to go to the hospital this morning for a doctor's appointment. So I thought, oh, I don't know. And I don't know why I was confused whether it was yesterday or today. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, you know. And then I went and came home and laid down and I thought, no, nope, I'm going on. <laughs> so well, thank you. Was... I'm glad you joined us. It's been fun. Well, thank you. And I will be back tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Same time, same channel. Sounds good. So, so the Tuesday, yes. um, twelve thirty. Yes. <laughs> My battery tells me it's low, so I'm going to say good night. Thank you. Good night, Nancy. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night Thanks, everybody. everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.